Hi guys, I am reporting to you live from a cabin in the woods in the Pine Barrens of southern New Jersey. It's an exciting thing and uh, I just got back today from the New Jersey Sheep and Wool. Oh, I'm not going to lean back, that's a bad look. Um, the New Jersey Sheep and Wool Festival that I was super excited to attend because my favorite dyer of all time, uh, Vanessa Ewing of Cape May Fiber Company was there and I met so many other great dyers additionally that I hadn't known before and I just spent way too much money and I have nothing else to say about that part. I accept my sins and I celebrate them. So I guess I'll just get started showing you a couple of things that I got. Um, some really cool stuff. I was in this at the festival, naturally. Among my people, I always dress appropriately. So I'll just get started. Uh, the color's not going to be great. It's really yellow in here, but use your imagination. So this one was done by a member of the South Jersey... Uh, what was it called? South Jersey Guild of Spinners and Hand Weavers. So this is a hand dye from one of their members. It's called Rainbow Promise Fibers and this color is called uh, Jump. So it's a heavy DK. If you look close you can see that it's nice rich kind of tealy color with just a little bit of tennis ball in it. So really pretty. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. Of course, I'm going to say that about all of these because I don't have a plan. I just bought yarn. That's all. <laughs> this next one, I don't think you can really appreciate until you've seen a swatch of it because it does this incredible uh, rainbow striping pattern up and down socks when you knit them. So you can see the colors that are in it. It's like a pretty little sort of neon rainbow full spectrum with soft, soft gray in between, and that will someday be socks, once I learn to make socks. So that's going to sit in the collection for a while. This fiber I bought mostly, well, let me take that back. I bought the fiber because it was beautiful, but also the branding was so adorable that it sent me over the edge to actually get it. I saw these people at Vogue Knit Live uh, from people's Instagram posts and I really, really wanted to meet them because the branding is so adorable and if they had had this on t-shirts, I really would have gotten that. It's called Cat Sandwich. Everything they do is cute and eventually she's going to be making holographic shopper bags with this on it. So you're going to want one of those. I want one of those someday. Next is another dyer that I had not, sorry my camera works so bad, another dyer that I had not ever heard of before and I just picked up some really pretty colors. Um, my favorite, I'm not sure how it's going to show up on here, but it's gorgeous. Um, one of them was this really pretty gently variegated pink. It's a little bit more neon than like a Pepto-Bismol pink, but it's beautiful. This dyer is called Light Brown Hair. And she does a lot of just kind of beautiful tonal things. I also got the, what do we call this one? The Lunacat number two. Really beautiful tonal green. I feel like green gets a little bit neglected or just kind of mixed in with colors. So this is a total green, all sorts of shades of green. And I'm really into green right now, so I'm happy about that. And my favorite from this dyer is like a sparkle, sparkle pastel uh, sock weight. They, she calls this Arctic hair because all of her, uh, all of her weights and bases uh, have a rabbit theme or hair theme. Yeah, and this is Buttermint, but it's just a gorgeous pastel light kind of eggshell blue with bits of pink and purple, and it's just, I don't know, I have to do something special with that, something delicate and beautiful. 
next oh I also got a free mini skein with my purchase I'm very happy about that um, she had this whole bucket of them and I was like ooh I'll have the pink one but it was literally the pink that I had just bought and I was like hmm at least you're consistent that must have mean you really liked that one uh, Miss Shirsty Cat is actually carried in a lot of yarn boutiques up in western New York where I'm living right now but I've never met her and I really wanted to and she had all of her yarns there and she has this gorgeous like mohair she calls this DK mohair so you can see it's got like a sock weight little thread going in there and then lots of fluffy fuzzy and it's really really gorgeous it's not showing up quite as bright as it is it's like clown car bright like that green really hits you in the face live it's just kind of showing up here uh, but I love it so much it's really gorgeous and I want to do something really lacy and soft and floaty mm. like that a lot and finally for all my stuff from Vanessa Ewing of Kate May Fiber Co I've been obsessed with her work for years because she does a lot of themed uh, themed colorways to places in Cape May, New Jersey, which I have spent a lot of time in growing up, and I just really appreciated how much attention to detail she did and how much like the landmarks she is giving a tribute to. Uh, all the colorways really are like they're super accurate and they just make you feel so nostalgic and like you're there So here is what I got of hers. I can't wait to play with it This is called pink sand. It's a really subtle color. It's not like a lot of stuff that I Get normally it's kind of a surprise for me, but it's so pretty in person it's sort of grays and soft pinks, maybe a little purple in there. There's no way it's going to come out like it is through my phone. But just trust me, go to her uh, Etsy page and you'll see it better than I could show you. And it's just absolutely gorgeous and gentle and soothing. I really like it. Next, this one is dyed with Cochineal, I think it's called it. She does this natural line. So this is actually quite different from the pink that I got at Light Brown Hair. And it's got like a little bit of variegation in it, a little bit of tonal stuff happening. Because it's a natural dye, so you never know exactly what it's going to do. And it just makes for these really wonderful uh, variegated skeins. Really love that. And... I would have gotten a full skein of this. This is dyed with pokeberry. So she foraged for pokeberry and dyed a bunch of little mini skeins with it. Um, she had it in like a super chunky, but I'm not gonna use that as likely. So I just picked up one of these for now so that I have the color, but I would have totally taken a full one because it's really pretty. It's not terribly dissimilar from my cat sandwich one. Oop. I'm very attracted to those kind of warm berry colors. There's a richness to it that other pinks are lacking and I like that a lot. Mm. Now I'm going to show you these two together because I bought them together. I had been lusting after one that had been in her Etsy site and the other one was there and I was like, ooh, I gotta put these together. These are two very special skeins. One is a brushed, al brushed silk alpaca. Let's see what, brushed alpaca silk. So it's super soft. It's kind of like a mohair texture. If you can see that. And this is the colorway Atlantic Pearl Oyster. So very Jersey, very North Atlantic, and just gorgeous. So soft and. I don't know, this has got to become something cool. There's even little bits of maroon in there. Really pretty. And then I've got, ooh, the sparkle sock in the colorway House on Stockton, which is a landmark in Cape May, I do believe. So look at that. 
even in this bad lighting. You can see how shimmery it is. And I'd very much like to combine these two for a special project. And I don't know, maybe throw something wild in there. Like, how would you feel about pink? Let's see, catch some light. Pink all together. I think that could be interesting. I don't know. So that's everything I got. I'm so wildly poor now. Um, uh, but that's my problem and that's okay. And I'm having a really great time. I've been hanging out at the shore all afternoon after the Fiber Fest. So I went down to Cape May and I had a nice walk at the Cape May Point Lighthouse. And I went over to Wildwood and ate my body weight in ice cream. So now I'm twice the size I was when I started. And so I think that's good value for money. Um, uh, now I'm sleeping in a cabin in the woods all by myself and I'm gonna get eaten by the Jersey Devil, but I'm okay with that because he seems misunderstood and maybe eating me could be a comfort. Yeah, that's fine. And tomorrow, I'm gonna go to the beach. So I'm very glad that I got to have this little mini retreat by myself and I'm really happy with the Fiber Fest. It was crazy fun. I don't know, it just, uh, had a really good variety of people. There were sheep running around everywhere. It was fun. I loved it. Uh, so I guess I will see you this week on uh, social media. See you around. And thanks for paying attention all this time.